thank you for your question, Mr. Justin. I made a four-bar guitar part here, and by turning on click during playback, you can hear it quite well in time. I think this is the first very important thing if you're going to use groove clip looping. You have to have a piece that's played in time, as yours was, Mr. Justin. So just like yours, I can roll this out without any problems. The problem started when you tried to take a piece of this. Here with my snap to grid turned on, I'll select exactly one bar. By selecting exactly one bar, or an even number of bars, you can turn it into a groove clip without any problem. But from what I could see in your question video, you had snap to grid turned off, so the piece you slid over looked a bit like this, and it was uneven. And when it's uneven, the groove clip looping cannot work properly, as you'll see here. The solution when working with groove clip loops is to work in the grid and have snap to grid turned on. I believe that's very important. As long as the performance is in time and you split it on a proper bar or measure, then things should work out right. Mm -hmm.